Hey guys and girls, I'm going to show you how to apply a stone skin effect to a character or model. I've picked a model with no shirt on so we've got more skin to work with and to show off the effect really well. The image size I'm using is this size, so these size settings, so any settings I use will relate to this image size. So you may need to tweak uh, the settings if you are using a different image uh, and image size. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is select the magic wand tool and select the background. Now I want to remove the background but I don't want to destroy it. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I've selected all of it. So as you can see there's a bit here missed and a bit here. I'm going to hold down shift and just add those in. I'm then going to go to select and inverse the selection. So all that's selected is the, the warrior. And I'm then going to go to layer and create a new layer via copy. And as you can see on my layer palette, I've now got the original image and an image with a transparent background. I'm also going to want to add in um, a background for our warrior. So I'm going to do that by uh, just opening, just by opening um, a background that I've already downloaded, which is uh, this one. Okay, and that's opened it as a new document. So if you look up here, you've got two tabs. Uh, one's the man and one is the dungeon. So I'm going to control A to select all, control C to copy, and then I'm going to paste that in here. And if you look at the layer, it's pasted it above the two uh, original, the original image and a transparent image. I'm going to drag that down so as it's in the middle, and I'm going to rename both of these layers. The transparent layer I'm going to name hero. And the dungeon, I'm just going to name dungeon. Okay. Okay, we're going to need uh, our rock. So the rock image that we're going to be using. So I'm going to file open and I've already got a, a st stone image. So again, it's opened it as a new image. Control A, Control C, Control A, select all, Control C, copy. Go back to our image that we're working on and we're going to Control V and make sure it's at the top of the layers. And we want to make sure it's covering uh, any skin. Okay, so we just position, oh, we just position this where we want it just to make sure it's over and that's fine like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of any excess rock that we don't need. So to do this, okay, I'm happy with that. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to keep the rock layer active. So you can see it's it's got a blue highlight on it. And we're going to hover over our man, hold the control key, command key on the Mac, and we're going to click. And as you can see, what that's done is it's put um, a selection around the man but keeping the layer selected. Okay, so now we've got that selection, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a layer mask. So you just come down and just click new add layer mask at the bottom and that's what we get. We're gonna apply a blend mode to the to this layer. And we're going to go down and rather than having it as a normal blend layer, we're going to have it as an overlay. So using an overlay, uh, overlay, you can see that we've now got a stone effect on the skin, but it's also on the shield and the sword. So the next step will show you how to remove that. Okay, so what we want to do is remove the stone effect from the sword, the shield, and the bit of trousers where it says the stone skin's only on our character. So to do that, we're going to grab the lasso tool. And you just want the, the just the normal lasso tool. And we're going to just start selecting the areas we want to change. So make sure you've clicked on the black and white layer mask, and that's selected. So if it wasn't, it would look like that click on it and we're just going to select you 
there we go so that's the first selection hold shift come on on the Mac and just highlight the areas you want now the only place you really need to be careful is around the skin area so anywhere else you can just be a bit rough and ready with your selection and just holding shift again to so quick carefully around the stomach section to make sure it's a nice selection and then just rough and ready to select and then the sword so we'll start off so just being a little bit careful around the skin of his hand but then just selecting up around the sword and again as we come down towards his skin just being a little bit more delicate a little bit more careful to make sure we get all the bits we want and releasing the selections so that's the selections happy with that and then I'm just going to fill that with black so edit fill color uh, yeah we'll do color and we want black make sure it's on black and 100% and click OK and you can see that that's altered the the masking area and we can deselect that and you can see that the shield his trousers and the sword are now free from the stone effect and we've only got the the man's skin uh, selected and with the effect we want one thing that's always very important is to make sure your layers are named appropriately so I'm just going to quickly rename layer one to rock just so I can remember what it is and we're going to do some adjustment layers now um, just to make the image look a bit more realistic so uh, I'm going to click on the rock layer not the mask so the rock making sure that it's selected and I'm going to add an adjustment layer so I'm going to go up to layer new adjustment layer I'm going to add a levels layer just click OK and you can see here now what we want is we only want it to affect the um, the the rock layer so what we're going to do is right click on where it says uh, levels one and this is the menu you want it to bring up I'm going to create a clipping mask and you'll get a little arrow that points down and that shows that it only affects the layer directly beneath it okay and then we're going to um, in the levels property panel we're going to move the shadows and highlight slider towards the center of the histogram to add more contrast to our rock image so we're going to bring this one in you can see it's getting slightly darker bring that one in it's a little bit lighter it just adds a little bit of darkness and shadow it depends how dark you want it I wouldn't go too dark but just sort of I'm happy with that okay and again we're going to click the the rock layer and we're going to add a new adjustment layer new uh, sorry new adjustment layer and a hue saturation this time okay hue saturation and again that's already clipped so we don't need to uh, to do anything with that it has to be a clipping mask as it affects just the the rock layer okay and what we could do is we can um, adjust the the hue and saturation slider to alter the rock color um, I'm gonna make it of quite a vibrant blue so we can move the you can move the hue um, let's actually make it 192 and if we make the saturation oh, so we'll make it um, a hue of 180 and a saturation of around 35 to give it sort of a a bluey bluey uh, tint 
Okay, we're then gonna double click on the rock layer and bring up the uh, layer styles properties. And we're gonna be working on the blend options. And on this layer and underlying layers, if we Alt and left click uh, on these, we can actually split the um, split the uh, slab tides, uh, slab blah, blah, tab sliders in half, so it gives us a little bit more control. So if I actually play about with these, so let's move this across as we can see our image. If I move these across, you can actually see how the rock uh, blends into into our actual character. So you can control a lot more how the blending options work, and you can actually use it to make it make it blend a bit more naturally so if we as you can see so you just play about with these until you get them to sort of how you want it to look and it is personal preference okay Okay, I'm going to OK that and we're going to keep the uh, the rock layer active and go to filter, sharpen and you want to do an unsharpen or unsharp mask and set the amount to 25%. Okay, it's at 25% and you want the radius uh, to 25 pixels. and you want the threshold to zero and this will add some sharpness to our rocks okay and then we're going to click on the hero layer which is this one here create new adjustment layer and again we're going to select levels Okay, and we're going to clip this so it only affects our hero. I'm going to adjust the uh, the levels two properties by dragging the shadows and highlights again to the center of the histogram to add more contrast to our hero. Oh, no, this one. Okay, and if you, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. I might tweak a few, few other settings, but um, yeah, pretty happy with that. Play about with the colors, change the colors to whatever rock color you'd like. bit of a god of war feel going on really um, so I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial I hope it's been useful uh, like subscribe and share